Insomnia and Chronic Pain, 5 Tips to Help You Sleep Better Chronic back pain and sleep disturbances are common issues that affect many people. In this video, we will explore the causes of chronic back pain, how to manage it, and the importance of good sleep hygiene. Chronic back pain can have various causes, including muscle strains, herniated discs, spinal stenosis, and degenerative disc disease. It is essential to understand the underlying cause of your back pain to manage it effectively. If you have experienced a severe trauma, such as a car accident or a fall, you may have a serious injury that requires immediate medical attention. However, most cases of chronic back pain are not due to severe trauma but rather to everyday activities and posture. If you like the video and want to help us continue creating interesting content, we kindly ask you to consider the idea of subscribing to our channel and making a donation to support us. Your support is precious to us and will allow us to continue growing and improving our channel. You can do it here below, through the appropriate buttons, subscribe, and, thanks. One of the most common causes of chronic back pain is muscle strain. This can occur due to overuse, poor posture, or sudden movements. Muscle strains can cause pain and discomfort in the lower back, upper back, or neck. To manage muscle strain, it is essential to rest, apply ice or heat, and gently stretch the affected muscles. Over-the-counter pain relievers can also help alleviate the pain. Another common cause of chronic back pain is a herniated disc. This occurs when the soft center of a spinal disc pushes through a crack in the tougher exterior casing. Herniated discs can cause pain, numbness, or weakness in the back, legs, or arms. Treatment options for herniated discs include physical therapy, medications, and in severe cases, surgery. Spinal stenosis is a narrowing of the spaces within your spine, which can put pressure on the nerves that travel through the spine. This condition can cause pain, numbness, or weakness in the back, legs, or arms. Treatment options for spinal stenosis include physical therapy, medications, and in severe cases, surgery. Degenerative disc disease is a condition in which the discs between the vertebrae of the spine deteriorate or break down, leading to pain and discomfort. This condition is often age-related and can be managed with physical therapy, medications, and lifestyle changes. If you are experiencing chronic back pain, it is essential to seek professional help. A healthcare provider can help you determine the underlying cause of your back pain and develop a treatment plan tailored to your needs. In some cases, imaging tests such as X-rays, MRIs, or CT scans may be necessary to diagnose the condition accurately. In addition to seeking professional help, there are several things you can do to manage chronic back pain at home. Maintaining good posture, staying active, and engaging in low-impact exercises such as walking, swimming, or yoga can help alleviate back pain. It is also essential to maintain a healthy weight, as excess weight can put additional strain on the back. If you have tried various treatments and are still experiencing chronic back pain, it may be helpful to seek the advice of a pain management specialist. These professionals can provide advanced treatment options, including nerve blocks, spinal cord stimulation, and other interventional pain management techniques. In conclusion, chronic back pain is a common issue that can have various causes. Understanding the underlying cause of your back pain is essential for effective management. Seeking professional help, maintaining good posture, staying active, and engaging in low-impact exercises can all help alleviate chronic back pain. If you are still experiencing pain despite these efforts, consider seeking the advice of a pain management specialist. Hash 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 improving sleep quality. Good sleep hygiene is crucial for overall health and well-being. In this video, we will discuss the importance of sleep and how to improve sleep quality. Sleep disturbances can have various causes, including stress, poor sleep hygiene, and underlying medical conditions. It is essential to understand the underlying cause of your sleep disturbances to manage them effectively. If you have experienced a severe trauma, such as a car accident or a fall, you may have a serious injury that requires immediate medical attention. However, most cases of sleep disturbances are not due to severe trauma but rather to everyday activities and habits. One of the most common causes of sleep disturbances is stress. Stress can cause difficulty falling asleep, frequent awakenings, and non-restorative sleep. To manage stress, it is essential to practice relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing, meditation, and progressive muscle relaxation. It is also important to maintain a consistent sleep schedule and create a relaxing bedtime routine. Another common cause of sleep disturbances is poor sleep hygiene. 
This can include irregular sleep schedules, exposure to bright lights before bedtime, and consuming caffeine or alcohol close to bedtime. To improve sleep hygiene, it is essential to maintain a consistent sleep schedule, create a relaxing bedtime routine, and avoid exposure to bright lights and stimulating substances before bedtime. If you have tried various treatments and are still experiencing sleep disturbances, it may be helpful to seek the advice of a sleep specialist. These professionals can provide advanced treatment options, including cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, CBTI, which is a type of therapy that helps you change thoughts and behaviors that interfere with sleep. In conclusion, good sleep hygiene is crucial for overall health and well-being. Understanding the underlying cause of your sleep disturbances is essential for effective management. Practicing relaxation techniques, maintaining a consistent sleep schedule, and creating a relaxing bedtime routine can all help improve sleep quality. If you are still experiencing sleep disturbances despite these efforts, consider seeking the advice of a sleep specialist. Let us know about your practical experience regarding today's topic by writing it in the comments. And do not hesitate to ask questions, we will respond to the best of our ability. Do not forget to share your opinion with us and leave a comment. If you also leave a like, it would be great, subscribe so you don't miss the next video.